Hello and a warm welcome to the PolyKit channel. Finally, there is some progress on the analog polyphonic synthesizer based on my voice card design. Over the last years, I designed a voice card which has all components of a synthesizer voice and a mainboard which holds eight of those cards. Everything is controlled by a microcontroller through a 16-bit digital to analog converter. If you haven't seen the videos on this, I'm going to link them in the description below. In this video, I'm going to look into building and programming a control board for the synthesizer. The control board has 16 rotary encoders to control the parameters of the synthesizer. A few knobs and a 16x2 display for user feedback. Everything is connected to the microcontroller via I2C serial bus. I2C is a two-wire protocol where different devices can be added to one bus and addressed through unique device numbers. Rotary encoders are devices which give a digital feedback if they are either rotated clockwise or counterclockwise. Each encoder needs two digital inputs, so I'm using two MCP 23017 IO expanders with 16 bit to get enough input pins for all 16 devices. In addition, there are six buttons for user input and a 16 by 2 display which is also accessible via the I2C bus. I decided for this design because by this every encoder can be freely assigned to any of the synthesizer's parameter or even have multiple layers of selectable input masks. In the end, it's just a matter of dealing with it in software. I built it in a way that the board can also be used as a standalone MIDI controller for CC messages by just adding a microcontroller to it. I'm using KiCad to design and lay out the printed circuit board. It is an open source software which is freely available and is surprisingly easy to use when you get used to the process. First, the schematics needs to be created. As you can see, the 16 rotary encoders are connected to the I.O. expanders. There's two of them. Pull-up resistors are needed on both data pins to make it work. The center is connected to ground. Each section of the expander got an interrupt pin, which signals the microcontroller that there is activity on the input pins when the user turns the knobs. The two diodes form a logical OR for the interrupts, so only one input on the microcontroller is needed. Here are the six push buttons. I'm using the internal pull-up resistors of the digital inputs of the microcontroller and they are grounded when pushed. The rest is connectors for power, I2C bus and digital input pins for the microcontroller on the motherboard. There is an additional connector which can be used when using the board as a standalone MIDI controller. The PCB layout is straightforward. The rotary encoders are lined up in a 4x4 matrix. There is a recess where the display can be mounted. I'm using IDC connectors to connect the controller to the mainboard.
Next is to design an input section for control voltages and an external input, which can be mixed in. I'm thinking of a 4-channel analog to digital converter, which is also connected via I2C to the microcontroller. By this, it should be possible to modulate the synthesizer's parameter with external gear, like my big modular setup. I'm also looking into building a housing out of acrylic, this way it is possible to see inside the synthesizer and expose the beautiful electronics. Alright, that's all for today. Make sure you like and subscribe and be notified about upcoming videos. See you next time and bye for now. <laughs>